Hey guys, my name is Melissa, welcome back to my Minecraft video. As you can see, my cave looks a little better here, and that's because I actually have. Let's see, oh, smooth lighting on. I guess I just kept miss, like, overlooking it, and then Bob was like, Hey Mel, do you have smooth lighting on? Because your videos don't look that great. He kind of said it like that, not exactly. I'm like, no, I don't. So, smooth lighting is on, so my video should be looking a little better. Um, and I just started two new series, you know, check them out, Sky Factory and Simburbia, both awesome series. Simburbia, I will be posting a lot really quick, it's kind of like an extra series, so any day, any day that Simburbia is posted, I ha should have two videos on my channel, so that's awesome. But let's get right into the Nation SMP here. So, I've recorded this video, honestly, this is my fourth time. Uh, my first time, it failed to record. I pressed quit by mistake. Um, instead of stop recording, so I just deleted it all and during that we raided an underwater temple And then I realized it halfway through raiding the underwater temple, so it was all good And then that one the second half corrupted so I'm like really really right now. Um, so Then What, what happened next? Let, let me try to think of this um, And then I recorded it again because I really wanted to get the video out today at Monday as I'm recording this But we didn't really get much done and I thought it was I felt like it was a bad video and I didn't want to show it to you guys, so here we are, the fourth attempt, and now we're going to do something. So I made this wall of things to do. So each, I'll accomplish one of these signs every episode, so wall to a thousand and work just above ground, that, that'll be an episode. P make an automatic potato and fish farm, like I mean the potato farms where you just right click with bone meal and it makes it for you. And, where, and fish farm where you just right click, hold right click down and it just keeps fishing for you and you can go AFK and get like tons of fish. And then there's a chest room, which we probably will do today. Uh, you need to, I don't want to decorate this hall, make it look nicer. But that's not as important as the rest right now. And raid the underwater temple, which I'm not ready for. So today we're going to try to tackle the chest room. Um, so I was thinking we can make the chest room right over here. I'll hollow out this area right here and make a nice little chest room. Because this, I mean, it kind of goes down here and it keeps going. But it's kind of a dead end. So this area, I think, will be our chest room. One quick thing I want to point out that we did in the past episode that failed and was just too boring. We did get rid of the ladder here because it was annoying Bob and Nick a lot. So we moved it over here. Uh, we have this cool thing that pops us up. So I'm thinking of getting rid of these ladders here. So you have to be cool enough to, like, jump up. So I, th I think that, I don't know, that might be kind of cool. Um, so that would work. Sometimes the server's lagging, though, and this doesn't work. But whatever, um, we need more slime blocks, and we also enchanted some stuff here. So if you look in this chest, we've got some enchanted stuff. We've got this sword, which we had before. We've got this pick, uh, these two shovels, which I probably will combine. Um, let me just use this efficiency four shovel for now, and then once it gets pretty worn down, we can combine them. And we have some silk touch books, infinity books, respiration, protection three, and we have two... These are, these are both protection four, and I'm breaking three, both of those together. What? How did that work? <sighs> this is my kind of like my armor stand of like awesome, awesome things. Uh, this helmet isn't very awesome, but whatever. Where did the boots go? Did I put them on when I picked them up? Whoa, whoa, I need to test this. No, I must have right clicked with them. Okay. What evs? False alarm. Okay, that's that's my awesome armor stand. Okay, uh, actually, I want to see what the boots are for you guys. Protection for feather falling four, protection three. So I need them breaking on those as well. <clears throat> okay, so chest room. I'm just gonna hollow out this area here. Um, I don't really have a huge plan, but chest room. I mean, I I normally make them wood, and then you can just add some crafting benches here and there, and just make everything look cool. It's pretty easy to make a good looking chest room. Just watch mine fail, but whatever. Uh, chest room should be fairly simple because the whole thing is just gonna be filled with chests, right? Um, so that's gonna be a thing. Um, I think I'm gonna make the platform right here so we can just keep mining out. While I mine out, I can let you so much information. I feel like I'm talking so fast and so much information is going into your brain right now. Um, I got a new mouse. It's a rival from the Steel Series. I think I said that right. I'm not a huge person when it comes to mice and knowing all this information, but it's a rival from the Steel se Series. I'm pretty sure. I always was, I kept telling people it was a razor from Steel Series, and they're like, Mel, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. They're two different brands that are competing. And I'm like, oops. Um, what, what am I doing here? Uh, okay, I'll mine this out a little bit more. And then I think I want it to open up a little more as well. Um, so, apparently it's not a razor from Steel's Razor. It's a rival. Um, I love the mouse. I basically got it, as a lot of you know, unless you're new. Um, I had an Apple Magic mouse before. 
and what it would do is that Apple Magic Mouse is like a trackpad on top. So if I ever would swipe sideways or move my finger slightly to the side, it would change the items of my hotbar like this. And then like once in UHC, I had flint, I was putting, put down a torch, but it switched to flint and steel because I moved my finger slightly to the side but by mistake, and I lit myself on fire. Now, of course, I have awesome reaction skills and put water out, so I only lost, like, a heart. But still, like, just things like that, it would annoy me so much. So I finally got this, and it's amazing. I love this mouse. It was uh, normally, like, 50 bucks. I got it for 40 bucks because some uh, something happened. But um, I'm liking this. It looks amazing already. Um... But yeah, I think it's a great, like, people buy $200 mice, but, like, I can't see that being that amazing. I mean, this doesn't have a lot of buttons all over it. Um, it has, like, six programmable buttons, and I can see maybe for other games you would want, like, 20, but this is good enough for me, so I'm happy with it. I I'm thinking we could have a chest room here and then, like, a little secret room over here to store, like, um, or back there we can store all our cobble or something like that. So if we make our chest room, like, here and put, uh put some planks down and get some chests going that would be amazing uh okay so and also the thing with the rival mouse is you can program the buttons which is super awesome it's kind of like my cobble chest and stuff um and yeah you can program the colors so it has two lights and you can make each light a different color so it's totally awesome right now i'm kind of using a light blue and like a teal i don't know i just love it um what am I looking for? I'm looking for my jungle wood to make some chests. I have a lot of chests made out here as well. Um, do I have a lot of leather? I have quite a bit of leather. I thought I had more wood than this though. Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? I might have to go chop more wood. Uh, I've got some dark oak wood there. Here's some jungle wood. Okay. Oh, here's some sticks for making item frames. Okay, so let's make this into chest that's not gonna be a whole lot of chests though chests take a lot of wood a lot more wood than i ever thought they would i guess you made 11 chests and let's see how many item frames you can make with 60 sticks seven okay so that's what we got for now and this wood let's make that into like half slabs for now because who doesn't love some half slabs i could make it light up when you enter the room um so i would want to put these on the bottom half what do i is that a cool trick or did i use that last season so there's no point in using it again should I try to do something different this time? How about, like, I don't know. I I love the lights. I love how the lights turn on when you walk into the room. So I, I might do that. So we need to use uh, past labs on the bottom because that way mobs can't spawn in here when I'm not in here. So I think we're going to do that again. Maybe a little bit of a different design because it's not outside, so we have more options. Okay. We can also hook that up later. Like, we don't necessarily have to hook that up today. Okay, so how is this going to work? We've got a nice little platform to work off of. And I kind of was thinking we could just uh, put uh, chests all along the the uh, sides and back there and then spice it up and make it maybe look a little nicer. Uh, I love having fortune on my pick. See, I can do stuff like this. Yay, more torches. Okay, um, I love I love things lit up when I'm uh, working. Okay, so I, let, let's start by putting some chests in the wall over here. What we can do is we would want chests like this. I'll just mine it all out because we know we'll have to mine it all out anyways. So do I want chests right beside each other or do I, or can I use a, like a cool pattern? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is make a cool little pattern. Uh, we need, I would need a whole bunch of redstone lamps. But if we have a chest, uh, he, oops, not someone I wanted. Here, 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 and so on. I'm out of chests already. And then we would have, uh, let's make a crafting bench here, because you know we'll need one. You know we'll need one, man. Okay. And then we have fences. Let's make some fences. I keep forgetting how to make fences these days, but I think it's this. Makes, no, that makes an oak fence gate. What? Is it like this now? Yeah, okay. If we, if we can have a fence here, and then signs on top of that. Let's, let's get moving here, folks. The signs can tell you what's in it. Uh, and behind that will be 
redstone t lamps. So let's go grab some redstone lamps for a second, everybody. Let's see if I can remember remember the. Uh, uh, I've got some glowstone here. I always keep I always keep forgetting the recipe. I'm pretty sure it's this. Please be right. Please be right. Yes, oh, I'm actually right. That's like the first time in my life I've ever been right about that. So then let's put some. Uh, let's get some more torches actually. Let's go put these behind it, and this is kind of gonna be the look. I could, could do item frames on them, but I don't know. Like, I kind of want it to be different. Then I want kind of want it to be different. I love item frames on it though, so we'll see. Uh, we'll put the here, 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 here kind of idea, and then let's like try to light them up right here for a second to make it look good. So that's not how you do it. This is how you do it. Bam. So then it would be like that, and then of course we would need to maybe put some wood back here as well to make to fill it all in. I could also do different kinds of wood and different materials. I feel like that'd be cool. We could also put item frames on here, but then it's like, well, what item frame goes with which chest, right? Yeah, let's let's do that, and then we can have what we're gonna do. So th those lights will turn on when you walk in the room. And then we'll also have this, and we can put like item frames all across the top just to decorate. Um, let's make a few more signs and just finish off this look for a second, and then I'll do it off camera, because off camera work is so fun, guys. There's so much off camera work to recording, and what makes a good recording is how much off camera work you do. Like honestly, tip for YouTubers: do a lot of off camera work. I don't do enough. Let's actually just finish this, like, cause. Just for the sake of looking amazing. Okay. So this is the kind of look we'd go for. And then I'm thinking here we would put some crafting benches maybe. Uh, that's a lot of crafting benches though. Uh, does that look weird? Maybe that's a bit too much. Uh, we probably put, I would probably want like dark wood here. Like a... Not a plank, but an actual wood. And then I think I'll be right back once this is like a little bit better, better made. Be right back. Okay, so what do you guys think of this finished look? It's pretty chaotic, I think. But I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I realize that I can't open these chests right now, so what I'll have to do is make these um, stairs. But we got all the items on top just to decorate it. Um, maybe change this out with like a blue item because we, we're kind of it's all wood and like red items, but. Maybe if you get like lapis or something instead of the redstone, I don't know. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this on the other side here. And then against this wall, we can have like a cool design, put an anvil, ender chest, uh, maybe some furnaces across the top. Um, we will have probably have a furnace room with actual furnace where you can put like um, um, stuff in hoppers and it like automatically cook it and put it in a chest for you. But just for purposes that like maybe just quickly smelting like five gold or something like that. We can put uh, like three um, furnaces here, anvil, just some extra stuff and make the back look nice because I don't need that many chests to cover this entire place. And then there's also going to be a door here to go back here for extra storage such as um, we can hide our treasures back there or we can put like cobble back there. It's up to y'all guys, you guys. Um, so I think I'm going to pause it again and duplicate this on that side. Okay, so this is pretty much all the resources I have right now. I have enough, uh, I basically need more wood. So, um, what I'm probably going to do is head to spawn, show you guys around spawn. I don't know how much I have shown you of spawn. We can check to see if any of our, uh, more of our diamonds have sold at spawn. Uh, by the way, 16 of this glowstone that I've used, um, did come from that shop, so that was awesome. Because I don't have to go out there. I did lower the prices too, so if you're watching this, um, I'll, I'll show you I'll show you the shop in a second. So I have school right now while class is about to start So I'm gonna stop here and then well, it's, it'll still only be a second for you, but be right back Okay guys, so as you can see um, I cleared out a bunch of this land I make sure to replant when I'm taking away trees at spawn to keep everything looking nice But while we're here in the swamps right there, let's go look for some more slime blocks Slime balls. I need a few more cuz I I cuz I made that little bounce pad to get onto the ladder out um, but I need I took the slime block from my other contraption, so basically I need some slime blocks and they're always nice to have Especially for like fire resistance potions and stuff. So let's go just look around Maybe last time I was out here. I couldn't find any slimes like no mobs responding. So we'll see 
Um, I've been in this area for a little bit, so hopefully maybe some have spawned. Also, I'm really missing the zoom in from Optifine, so I'm really hoping Optifine comes out for 1.8 really, really soon here. So let's hop through these lily pads. Um, I'm still not seeing any slimes. Um, that stinks. I really want to make a slime farm, but that's for another day. Actually, let's get some, you know what? It's always nice to get a little bit of clay, especially for like clay plots, pots. Because, I mean, if I ever want to build something out of clay, I go to a mesa biome. But, like, I never have clay balls around just to make pots and stuff. So now we've got enough pots to last us for days. And I love getting lily pads when I can. Because clay and lily pads are just something that you don't collect when you see them. But you but when you need them, they're always hard to get because you have to find a swamp and everything. So I like to collect them right as on the spot. Okay, so i don't not seeing any slimes here. This is a swamp. It's a swamp. I mean, I knew it was a swamp because of the color. Maybe something's messed up with the game. Let's continue looking around here just a little bit over here. I see you, Creeper. I see you, but you're not a slime. Creepers, I don't know. They ha they're ha they've been having bad reaction time for me. Like, they don't won't notice me, and they won't start attacking me for a bit. It's kind of weird. Okay, I'm not seeing any slimes. Do I need to stay in this area for a little bit and let them spawn? Do I need to kill some guys here to let... To free up some spawning spots. I don't really know what to do. I don't know what to do. Save me. Okay, okay. What's going on here? Yeah, okay, you know what? Uh, good thing I have a good sword. Because this would be a disaster if I didn't. I just... I think mobs are too often spawning with armor. That's my opinion. I don't know if that's a good opinion. But like so many mobs have been spawning. Oh my goodness. With armor. It's crazy. Okay, let's get out the open over here for a second, eat some food. Slimes, anytime now. I would really like some slime blocks, and I don't feel like looking underground for slimes, because that's too, way too much work. Once you find a few slimes, they drop a lot of slime blocks, which is really good, but I just need... Oh, someone's building out here. That's cool. Did I see something green bouncing over here? I did indeed. I see a big bouncing slime. It's big too. That's that's awesome. Okay, you know what? Go away. Thankfully, my ping is pretty good. That's always nice for killing mobs. I real still don't know much about ping, but I know... Oh, he was going to go right into the water. A good place to look for slimes is water, to be honest. Okay. And now for the grand finale of getting the slime blocks. I find, like, slimes, only the small... Like, that, look at all those slime blocks. A whole a whole block right there. Um, sl In water, you can also often find just, like, slime balls. Um, But in magma creams... They drop slime blocks when you kill the big ones, and they turn into little ones. But with, but with slimes, it's the little ones that drop. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. But the small magma cubes do not drop sli drop slime blocks. Okay, it's a witch hut. I think someone found that already though. And do witch huts even spawn witches? I don't know. These are all questions I've been wondering and been asking myself. I need a horse actually, but I guess I live underground, so horses are gonna be. I'm assuming there's no witch in here. I'm not going to bother looking. I want to quickly find a slime before everything despawns here, but I don't think I'm going to. You know what, That was rude. hate it when zombies do that. So let's head back to spawn. I think I've showed spawn a, a, at least for sure to l in last episode, actually, because I built my thing right at spawn. So you've probably seen too much of spawn, because I was thinking, oh, I should show them spawn. Um, I w I've been getting my food from spawn from the wheat. But like people and from the cows, but people have not been replanting and they have been just killing the cows and leaving like three left. And like it's like really like you can kill at spawn, please kill as many cows as you breed. So we can main at least we need to maintain at least 20 cows so you can breed them, get 10 more, and kill 10 big cows. Like because if you just leave three, it takes a it takes a while to get back into a big number. So please, I beg I beg of you, leave a lot of cows at spawn. Thank you for your cooperation. So we are here at spawn. I'm just gonna get some. I need some more of these uh, thingies here. Thankfully, th thankfully there is a thing here to grow them, and then see. Okay, there's some. Ca there's some cows left, but these are all because I breeded them. Any wheat left? Here? There's some wheat, so we can breed them again before we leave. Please, someone. I don't want to come back and there's only four left. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm not like mad. Well, I am mad, but like not like mad mad. Not 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 mad mad. It's a little bit mad. See how messy this is? And I replanted most of it already. So that's all. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this all because because it's annoying me. Just because I don't know. 
I'm just in a mood where this is annoying me. Um, so let's just fix this all. We're gonna leave the hoe in a chest because people are too lazy to make a hoe to fix it if they leave a mistake. But if we put it in a chest, they should be a bit better to do it. Let's just fill in all these spots here. I know I'm gonna come back and be messy again, but... I mean, I'm lazy too. I mean, I all the time just make a mess in areas like this and not replant it and like you jump by mistake and stuff, but we're fixing this, guys. There we go. Any Anything else? Oh, here's another spot. Now, oh, there's a piece of wheat there. Okay, so now this is beautiful, people. I expect it to be beautiful next time I come online. I didn't even make this place. Cam made it, I think. I don't know if Cam has been playing much, but okay. So here we go. Make sure to... Make sure... Eh, to replant and fix and re -ho ground if messed up. You know what? This is gonna go in here and this is gonna go in here to keep this place perfect. Thank you for your cooperation, everybody. It's been greatly appreciated. Let's fix this lily pads over here too. Don't steal these lily pads, that's just rude. Okay, let's uh, head back to our base. Um, I don't know how much time it's been, I've been recording. But we can head back and probably just finish up the room and then we can end it off here. By the way, this is my nether tunnel. I don't know if I've shown this on camera, but this is my nether tunnel. I've made it. It's not complete yet, as you can tell. I want to complete it once the nether hub is made. Joel wants to make the nether hub, so he's going to make that. Once it completes, once he completes it, I will um, finish my nether, my nether track and c connect it. But I just wanted to make it functional and so gas wouldn't shoot me and stuff like that. And because it's way faster than running. Or at least less work than running. So see, uh, there used to be a slime block here. So that's we can fix that. We actually, you know, let's uh, let's fix that right right now and then end off the video. Okay. So um, we think we just need one of those and we need some of this stuff too. Okay. Let's go fix this right. Oh, oh we need to make a slime block. I almost forgot. We actually got the perfect amount of slime blocks. I'm happy with that. I mean, I wish there was more slimes, of course, but I mean. There you go. We actually pick up this bottle, too. Okay. So let's head down right over there. Right here. So I believe this goes here. Here. Uh, let's just get. Okay, let's grab this and this and this. We still need to fix up this area and make it look nicer, but we can put it there. There. There you go. Okay. That's all good. We still need to fix this up. Like, this is for another episode, remember? Can't do it now. Okay. So, um, I'll probably do this off camera and show you it the next uh, episode. Because you got most of it done and you guys probably know what it's going to look like. Um, I can hook it up. Maybe we'll hook it up next episode. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But I think that's been enough time here today. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends because... That is what helps me the most and helps all subscribers, you YouTubers the most, I mean. Okay, see you guys. Back to the Minecraft video. Today we're playing Simburbia. It's basically SimCity in Minecraft 1.8. Super cool. I'm also here with my brother. Hi, my the girl skin right now. Hello. I do. Oh, hi. Oh, my game mode has been updated. Okay, so... Yeah, it says game.